I want to talk about Patrick Mahomes and the Kansas City Chiefs here. Patrick Mahomes had a meltdown the other day uh, after that that final play for the Chiefs. Uh, they've lost another one here. I just want to know, one, what do you guys think about this situation? The Chiefs were called for all sides. Haven't seen Patrick Mahomes frustrated like this before. And then what do you think about this, uh, the, the, the skid that the Chiefs are on right now? Um, here, here's what I believe. Number one about Patrick Mahomes getting upset. I, I don't mind it. Just like I didn't upset, mind when Tom Brady got upset. I like seeing guys that care. And then you say, oh, well, blaming the refs, whatever. Patrick Mahomes, I, I don't think there is a, a ton of examples of this, right? Typically, Patrick's very kind of not, not reserved, but, but he understands what he's saying. I think he did let his emotions get the best of him. I, I don't think he wants losing to be accepted at Kansas City, and I can respect that. But here's what I will say. Kadarius Tony was offsides. Like, you can't line up a yard in front of the ball. If I was on, I'm a defensive guy. If a defensive player had lined up in the exact inverse of what Kadarius Toney would have with his foot a half yard ahead of the ball, his hands and his helmet ahead, they would have thrown an offsides penalty, right? If it was if it was very close, I can understand it. To me, that's not close. Second off, Kadarius Toney, you see the video, he checks with the ref, okay? If I go up to a police officer that I know is sitting in his car a couple miles ahead of me, and I say, hey, man, I know it's 70 miles per hour, but I'm going to go 73, okay? So don't pull me over. And then I go 100, he's going to pull me over. <laughs> I don't care if you check with the ref when you line up a yard offside. You can't do that. So this is why I was wanting to ask you this. As a wide receiver, what is the relationship like with you and the referees throughout the course of a game? And what's the protocol here for you? Are you asking if you're onside? Are you telling him that you're supposed to be on the ball? Like, how does it work? Right. He knows whether you're on and off, but just by a point, right? So if I'm on, you point at the ref, and he gives you the thumbs up, all right? If you're off, you point at the ref, and he gives you the th thumbs up. I didn't see the video where Kadarius Tony checked He with looks the ref. really quickly at it. If like, the ref very... gave him the okay, all right, and then threw this offside flag, that's horse crap. Well, that is absolute crap because the ref said you were fine, all right? And I will go back to, I'll go back to what Andy Reid said, and this goes throughout high school college, NFL, usually uh, a lot of the times, even if you're on defense, you get a warning before someone throws this flag. 100%. Someone talks to your head coach or talks to whoever they need to. And when the guy at the end of this game, the one thing that got me is the guy, that, the, the head referee at the end of this game came on and says there's an emphasis on throwing penalties on offensive players being offsides. There has been. They've I've called seen. it 11 times, right? And the years before that, I think it's been called twice, mm -hmm. you know, once. What he doesn't tell you is eight of those, eight of those calls is on the uh, the tush push yeah. from the Eagles. All right, so saying that we're out here consistently calling this is absolute crap. You're just calling on the Eagles because they're basically doing what we like to call an illegal play. So you're offsides. Of course you're offsides, Kadarius Tony. I mean, that's obviously, if you point at the ref and he gave you the okay, all right, and then threw the flag, the, that, that's that. The that's video I saw was he wasn't lined up yet. He was looking at the ref before he even got lined up. Okay. Like, I, but again... If I, if I go and tell the police officer, hey, I'm going, I'm going to go 73 and a 70, so don't pull me over. And then I go 100, he is going to pull me over. You are so blatantly off, offside. Well, it'd be if you you're going 100 well, and then look at the cop and he says, okay, right? That would be yeah, the difference. Yeah, but he's not going to do that. If he's already where he was and pointed yeah, at the Yeah, that's not what happened. And gave the I, okay. Yeah. I, I find it hard to believe that the referee told him, you're good where you no, are. He didn't. He didn't he move didn't. and then threw the flag right away, which that's another part of this, is the referee threw the flag right away. It's not like he watched the play and yeah, saw and the Chiefs score. It. I mean, that was what Patrick Mahomes was talking about. He was disappointed that you can't throw that flag in that spot in the game. I'm like, I just watched y'all well, win the Super well, Bowl how about this? when how the about Eagles this? got yeah. called for no, no, yeah. And it was defensive <laughs> yeah. holding. Hey, how about, how about this? How about this next time, if you're just going to get a warning, just line him up 30 yards off sides. Take your Why chances. Why not? Play it again. Play if you're just going to get a warning, yeah, just line him. Because it, it wasn't an elite play. If I mean, you can't Travis throw Kelsey. that flag during that play, line him up 30 yards down the field. Why is he even Run a yard again. off sides? Here, let's line him up with a 35. Give him a running start, too. But the fact that they then go and score on this, I think, is just what hurts that, them That's more. just what, it, it's Rascal Flats. It's what hurts the most. It is right? what hurts the most. Look at Kelsey just out here doing whatever it takes. Look at Travi. But the flag got thrown 30 seconds ago. Here, here's the thing. The Chiefs, start, the Chiefs started 
uh, six and one, right, to start the year. Now they've lost three of their last four. Those losses are against the Bills that we just saw, at the Packers, mm-hmm. and they lost to the Eagles. I, I just, I don't think Patrick Mahomes has encountered this level of frustration before. No. Like, not a lot of adversity. Like a lot of other quarterbacks we talked about who are those num- those top five picks who go to worse teams. He had the benefit of getting drafted to a smaller market in Kansas City, smaller than New York or LA, something like that. He had the benefit of, of getting drafted by Andy Reid, one of the best play callers and QB developers we know. And he had the benefit of being one of those guys whose game translates immediately and just dominated the league. Now he's having a little adversity here in the middle of the season and you're seeing the frustrations uh, show. I still think they could easily win the Super Bowl this year. Though. Yes. Well, if you're making $700 million or you're making $7 million, holiday prepping's a pain. All right? It always feels like there isn't enough time in the day. Some people are just incredibly hard to shop for. But Black Rifle Coffee, they're keeping you mission-focused. Guys, the countdown's beginning. We got like 13 days. All right? So uh, the December coffee of the month, I do want to say this, is Costa Rican Arabica coffee. Mm, I, got la, la, la. I got mine in the mail yet. Don't throw that at me, David. That delivers tasting notes of chocolate, citrus, and maple. <laughs> uh, listen, Black Rifle Coffee is veteran founded. They're operated by principal men and women who honor those who protect and defend and support our country. And with every purchase you make, they give back. So if you order this as a present, they have the, the, the uh, canned drinks that you can drink quickly. You can, are you making fun of me? The, right? the, 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 the <laughs> Grinch! <Yeah. laughs> so. Uh, it, it's a great cause. Save money, drink America's coffee. Go to blackrifflecoffee.com. Really Use our promo code BoosterBWST or check out for 10% off your one time coffee purchase or first coffee club order. That's blackrifflecoffee.com with promo code Booster for 10% off. You can find it at grocery and convenience stores near you, but we all know you want to order it. Black Rifle Coffee, America's coffee. All right. David, what do you got? We got Blackbeard's Delight over there? Blackbeard's Delight. Drink mm. that one all. That looks Headless abs- Horseman. Absolutely delicious. Listen, I'm not going to get in the business of sleeping on Patrick Mahomes. No. <laughs> That's not a good business to be in. Here's, here, though, is another example of, of what makes the great ones great, right? You go through the ups and downs, mm-hmm. right? The ebbs and flows. Look at the team he won a Super Bowl with last year and the roster, what they were able to do. I, I think a lot of what makes the, the, top of the, the guys at the top of the mountain the Tom Brady's, you know, you, you that, that very small elite group that have been able to accomplish these amazing things at quarterback is that when the book's out on you or, or when you're in your hardest times, you got to get through them and you do get through them, right? And some, I saw people calling Tom Brady a terrible person for his annex on the sideline when it wasn't going good, screaming at guys, yelling at coaches, this and the other. But what did he do? He persevered and he won in the end. I am not going to bet against Patrick Mahomes and Andy Reid I don't care how many commercials they do. Like I, if they have an opportunity when they get in the playoffs, I am not betting against Patrick Mahomes and Travis Kelsey uh, and, and that organization. Uh, but this, again, what makes the great times so great, you got to go through these bad times, right? And, and Patrick Mahomes not accepting losing, you can say, oh, blaming the refs is petty. Like I said, it is to a certain extent, especially when it's that blatantly obvious. I guarantee you Patrick Mahomes probably watched the film mm-hmm. and was like, God, like, I probably shouldn't have got that upset after it. Maybe the frustration is at the receiving core. Well, well, then you, you know? saw you saw him on the sideline getting refs. upset. Well, the thing about like that I, this is a team I thought we, th- we're going to see last year. Yeah, with the Chiefs, this is what I thought we're going to see: yep. just a lack of production from the, the receiver core. I mean, you really have nobody out there; just guys out there dropping balls. Then Travis Kelsey uh, dating the Illuminati leader and having a mediocre year. <laughs> All right, that's what I thought. They were see. doing good but when Patrick she first looked came like on the scene. Patrick looked like a crybaby during this. Yeah. Like an absolute yeah. whiny little kid saying, well, you basically can't throw it because the play was so great and yeah. Travis is going to be a Hall of Famer. Yeah, that's what do you what mean? That was, that. yeah. It does seem like one of the, like to Jake's point, the, the great ones have an ability to, to, to play with like the utmost intensity while they're on the field. And that includes the sidelines, Tom Brady breaking tablets and all that. And then as soon as they're outside the lines and they get in a press conference, somehow they just swallow all that pain and they just you get know, up there and they're still professional. You know who that's does a great job of doing that? You know who's just absolutely buttoned up Pey- on the podium? Manning. Jalen Hurts. Oh, Jalen's Jalen Hurts. Well, the they could leader. lose by forty. That, there could be plane crashes. Family, it doesn't no. matter. Like if after a, someone dropped a nuclear bomb, I don't want the president up there talking. Well, Jalen Hurts Put shows Jalen no Hurts emotion. Like I'm starting to worry that Jalen Hurts is a sociopath. Well, good. Like, regardless, I know good. that's perfect. That's perfect. I want my quarterback. I want you to be dead inside to a certain extent. He is the best in the league right now. Hey, YouTube, it's Jackie from the Lady Ballers, joined by Blair and also Davida aka The Human Tower. If you haven't subscribed already, go ahead and do that. If you didn't know we had a sports show, 
Well, welcome to the greatest sports show in the history of the planet Earth and other planets surrounding it. So make sure you turn that notification bell on, hit that like button. We really appreciate it. Remember, if you haven't seen Lady Ballers yet, you're one of like six people. So go to Daily Wire Plus and check that out.